Moments in Time, Saskatoon Through the Lens of Leonard Hilliard The Leonard A. Hilliard Collection of Photographs and Negatives is a rich visual record of Saskatoon history. For six decades, from 1909 when he hired on for two dollars a week as an assistant in a local photographic studio, until his retirement from the profession 65 years later, in 1974, Hilliard photographed people, places, and events in the city. He particularly enjoyed outdoor photography, recording special occasions and celebrations, construction projects, industrial development, and aerial views. His appreciation of light, his receptivity to form, and his keen eye for the interesting, the humorous, the aesthetically pleasing, as well as the documentary statement, are illustrated in this sampling of his work. Three Victoria schools on Broadway Avenue at 12th Street, including the Littlestone Schoolhouse, between 1909 and 1911. The Littlestone Schoolhouse was built in 1887. In 1911, it was carefully dismantled and moved from its Broadway Avenue location to the University of Saskatchewan campus. Victoria School II was built in 1905 and torn down in 1913. Victoria School III was built in 1909. Twenty first Street looking toward the CNR station from in front of Flanagan Hotel, now the Senator Hotel, about nineteen eleven. Autos mingle with horse drawn vehicles. Buildings may have been outlined on this negative for use as a postcard, giving it the appearance of an illustration. There is a clear view of JF Karen's store, the Union Bank of Canada, and the Chump Block. An early view of Saskatchewan Crescent East, then a tree-lined dirt road between Lorne and Broadway known as Saskatchewan Drive, nicknamed Lover's Lane. In 1910, there were only three houses between Victoria and McPherson, which is probably the street curving to the left. The CNR Bridge is partially visible. No houses are visible here in this 1913 photo, but there is a fence and a sidewalk. J. F. Cairn's horse-drawn delivery van negotiates the Long Hill en route to the traffic bridge in 1913. Three street guards are crossing the bridge. The Cahill Block No. 4 at 311 to 321 2nd Avenue South in about 1913. Ground floor tenants are the Waldorf Cafe, Frank S. Cahill Real Estate, and Tuxedo Cigar Store. To the south at 323 is the Saskatoon Land Company. To the north at 309 is Doran Williams Real Estate. The overhead footbridge seen from above, showing the rail yards and some of downtown industrial area in about 1913. The bridge was completed in 1910 and connected Riversdale at 20th Street to 1st Avenue downtown. The Immigration Hall on Avenue A is visible behind the Roundhouse. The Immigration Hall was built in 1901 to serve as temporary housing for new immigrants. It was demolished in 1930. A bird's eye view of the Midway at the Saskatoon Exhibition in 1913. Close-up of a streetcar and vintage automobile at the east end of the traffic bridge in about 1914. The sign on the bridge reads, Walk your horses. Automobiles not to exceed six miles per hour. A group of mostly female golfers standing outside a building at the Saskatoon Golf and Country Club. All wear hats and possibly are dressed in 1920 period styles.
looking west on 23rd Street East, past the Public Library at the left, and City Hall on the right, towards King George Hotel in the background at left, some time after 1915. Automobiles are parked at the curb. The City Hall building was the first King Edward School, built in 1904. In 1912, City Hall bought the school and it became the temporary space for City Hall for 44 years and the police station for 18 years. It was demolished in 1956 and a new City Hall building opened on the same site. Winter view of King Edward Public School in the 1920s, showing young trees and hedges. It was built in 1912 on 25th Street in City Park. It was demolished in 1979, and the new YWCA was built on the site. Ice forming on the side of the Drinkle No. 1 block at 133 21st Street East. Firemen direct water at it in an attempt to extinguish the fire that destroyed the building on January 24, 1925. After the fire, it was demolished and replaced with the Macmillan building. Ed's service station and the Gregory Tire Company at 158 to 160 Third Avenue South in 1925. Flint is parked at the curb with a sign advertising Gregory Tires. The four men standing in front of Gregory Tires are from left A. Milliken, Manager L. Badger, D. Myers, and H. Defoe. Exterior of Canadian Pacific Building at 115 Second Avenue North between 1925 and 1933. Built in 1912, the original building underwent major renovations in 1967. The intersection of 2nd Avenue South and 21st Street East, looking west along 21st Street, showing Pinder's Drugs on the corner and other businesses in the Macmillan Building. Continuing on the south side of 21st Street, the Grain Building and the Canada Building can be seen. Davidson Optician is advertised on the side of the Green Building and had premises there between 1927 and 1931. The shirt and hat shop is the cross the street from Pinder's. Automobiles and people are visible in the street. This is a view of 3rd Avenue South, taken from the northwest showing the new Eaton's department store under construction in 1928 and completed in the same year. J. H. Early Motor Company Limited, Dodge Brothers Motor Cars, and Graham Brothers Motor Trucks are just to the north of the construction, and the Avenue building can be seen to the south. A crowd of 3,000 Saskatonians attending Armistice Day ceremonies and the official unveiling of the Cenotaph at 21st Street and 2nd Avenue South on November 11, 1929. The Flanagan Hotel with Coppola is in the background. The Cenotaph was moved to City Hall Square in 1957. View of downtown side of the riverbank along Spadina Crescent East showing newly landscaped Kiwanis Park with St. Paul's Roman Catholic Church and St. John's Anglican Cathedral in the distance. 25th Street Bridge and the ski jump at the University of Saskatchewan are visible in the background. Trucks and construction equipment are seen on the riverbank where construction of the Besborough Hotel began in 1930. Steel framework of the Besborough Hotel as seen from 21st Street. The Masonic Temple and Oddfellows Hall are shown on the north side of the street. The Saskatoon Club and Rosary Hall on the south side. Children line up with their pets for the Hudson's Bay Company Pet Parade and Fun Show 
at the Hudson Bay Service Station at 215 2nd Avenue North sometime in the 1930s. View of false work for Arch No. 5 during construction of the Broadway Bridge near the east bank of the river, July 15, 1932. Workers can be seen on top of the arch. Construction of the Broadway Bridge was Saskatoon's largest make-work project during the Depression. An automobile crosses the Broadway Bridge to cut the ribbon for the official opening at 11.30 a.m. November 11th, 1932. Onlookers crowd the sides of the bridge. Exterior corner view of Caswell's Limited Menswear at 21st Street East and 1st Avenue South, the former post office building, between 1931 and 1932. An automobile is parked at the curb and Grey Court Hotel is at the right. The Saskatoon Public Library's first permanent home at 311 23rd Street East between 1945 and 1955. A wide staircase sheltered by white portico and pillars formerly welcomed passers-by into the building which served Saskatonians as their main library from 1928 to 1965. The Bedsborough Hotel can be seen in the background. Part of the Fire Hall, the Mennonite Church on 4th Avenue North, and the Police Station can be seen on the left and in the background. South side of the Technical School at 403 3rd Avenue South viewed from the east bank of the river in about 1933. The Besborough Hotel is in the right foreground. Built in 1931 as the Saskatoon Technical Collegiate, this building was renamed Riverview Collegiate in 1969, then the F.J. Gathercool Building in 1973 when it became the school board offices. It was demolished in 2004 to make way for the river landing project. Mill hands at Robin Hood Mill load sacks of flour into freight cars between 1930 and 1949. Chief John Edward Faithful and his Saskatoon firefighters pose for a formal portrait in front of Fire Hall No. 1 on 23rd Street East in 1934. Adjacent to the library, fire trucks are partially visible behind men in uniform. Chief Faithful is in the front row, far left. View of the showroom and staff of Automobile Clearing House, 312 to 314 First Avenue South, with Chrysler and Plymouth automobiles on display. The date is 1934. The Dip Derby, sponsored by the Playground Association and held at St. Paul's School Grounds, 22nd Street East, on May 8, 1934. A shepherd and his dog bring the university flock across a country bridge at Beaver Creek in the late 1930s. The dedication of the Vimy Memorial Bandstand in Kiwanis Park on September 1, 1937, as seen from the top of the Besborough Hotel. In the background are the Broadway Bridge, Nutana Collegiate, the Short Hill, and the Long Hills in Nutana. The Canadian National Railway Depot on First Avenue under construction in 1938. In the background, not yet demolished, is the railway station built in 1910.
The crew of Poole Construction Company at work on the weir near 33rd Street in 1939. Workers are standing on rocks in foreground at right. Concrete has been laid at center. Note the ski jump on the opposite river bank. View of the Besborough Hotel with the bandstand in the foreground, with sparse vegetation and immature trees, 1945. A November 11th memorial service at the Cenotaph on 21st Street near 2nd Avenue in the 1940s. Military, veterans, and other Saskatoonians place wreaths and honour their war dead. View from atop the Besbro looking west on 21st Street East toward the Canadian National Railway Station likely in the 1940s. Busy Saskatoon Street seen in the 1940s, looking west on 20th Street West, from between Avenue A and Avenue B South. On the left is Barry Hotel. On the right is Edelman's Department Store, Bank of Nova Scotia, and the Albany Hotel. The interior of 3rd Avenue Church in the 1940s, showing architectural detail prior to renovation and redecorating. Men of the Saskatoon Light Infantry 1st Battalion marched down 21st Street in October 1945. They are welcomed home with a huge banner over the street and the railway station is visible in the distance. Exterior view of the Broadway Theatre, one of the first Art Deco buildings in Saskatoon. The marquee reads, Thrills and Adventure, Red River, Sleeping Car to Trieste. A bicycle is visible at the curb. At the right is Modern Appliance Washer and Vacuum Service. The D&B store is at the far left at 707. The date is June 21, 1949. An aerial view of the city core in about 1948, showing 3rd Avenue Church, the old city hall and park, fire hall number one, and the old public library in center foreground. The photograph includes the area inclusive of the Broadway and traffic bridges. Early Seed and Feed Limited on 1st Avenue in January 1950. The Early Seed and Feed Warehouse and Elevators were built in 1914 and demolished in 1985 and relocated to Lauren Avenue. Exterior view of OK Economy Store, corner of 23rd Street East and 2nd Avenue North, with Chomps and Chambers at 206 2nd Avenue North, partially visible behind, sometime between 1940 and 1955. Premier T.C. Douglas lays the cornerstone of the Royal University Hospital, September 1952. Saskatoon Sanatorium and Grounds viewed from the air in the 1950s. Construction began in 1924. The three-story building could accommodate 110 patients. The structure was demolished in 1989. The Royal American Midway at the Saskatoon Exhibition a blaze with lights on a summer's evening in July 1953. The Kinsman Car Award booth can be seen in the foreground.
Archbishop Jeffrey Francis Fisher lays the cornerstone at Christ Church Anglican, located at 515 28th Street West, in September 1954. Crowds pack the bleachers at Pioneera to watch old-time harvesting techniques in July 1959. This winter view of Spadina Crescent East, presumably taken from the upper floors of the Besborough Hotel, shows the old YMCA building and construction of the new courthouse about 1958. Traffic at the foot of the Broadway Bridge. The Nutana Water Tower, demolished in the fall of 1960, is visible in the distance. Mayor Buckwell presents Queen Elizabeth II with a jar of Saskatoon berries at a City Hall reception during the Royal Tour to our city in July 1959. The Dog and Suds Drive-In Restaurant in February 1960. A waitress in uniform is accepting money from the driver of a car. A tray full of mugs and cartons is perched on the open car window. Construction of the post office at 4th Avenue and 23rd Street, taken May 3, 1960. HMCS Unicorn is in the background. Night shot of an attendant filling the gas tank of a car at the pumps of Automobile Clearinghouse Limited, 350 2nd Avenue South, March 1961. A night shot of Bob Hynett's Christmas display, 1962. A manger scene is surrounded by cardboard Christmas trees. A Kinsman Christmas House Award sign is at left. Jockeys and horses at Exhibition Racetrack in the 1960s. The horses are in full gallop. People watching the ice break up at the weir in the 1960s. The old ski jump is on the opposite river bank in the background. Aerial view of downtown Saskatoon, looking northwest over the Vimy Memorial Bandstand and the Besborough Hotel, about 1965. The old YMCA and the new courthouse are also clearly visible again. Hillier took what would become his best known and most copied photograph shortly after construction of the Besborough Hotel and Broadway Bridge was completed. The hotel is framed through one of the arches of the bridge, showing a good perspective of the supporting structure. Reflections in the water make this a particularly appealing photo aesthetically. Three young boys are on one of the arches of the bridge at the extreme right. It is possible to cross the bridge from one end to the other using the arches. Moments in Time was originally a gallery show at the library in 1988, curated and produced by local history room staff. We invite you to visit the local history room the next time you are at the Francis Morrison Library.